Have you ever wondered how the Indian aircraft carrier INS Vikrant stacks up against the Italian aircraft carrier Cavour? In the complex world of modern warfare, aircraft carriers are true game changers. They act as floating air bases, extending a nation's power far beyond its shores. Today, we'll be pitting two such titans against each other, India's INS Vikrant and Italy's Cavour. We'll delve deep into their technical details, comparing every nut and bolt. So buckle up as we dive into the comparisons of these two impressive vessels. First up, we have the INS Vikrant from India. This behemoth of a ship with a full load displacement of 45,000 tons is a testament to India's naval prowess. Its impressive length stretches over 262 meters, that's about 860 feet, with a beam extending 62 meters and a draft of 8.4 meters. The Vikrant doesn't just boast size, it's also built for speed, capable of reaching 28 knots. It can cover 8,000 nautical miles at 18 knots. That's a journey from New Delhi to New York, and halfway back again without breaking a sweat. Of course, an aircraft carrier's true strength lies in its aircraft capacity. The Vikrant doesn't disappoint, accommodating between 30 to 40 aircraft, including the formidable MiG-29K, the indigenous Tejas, and versatile helicopters. Under the hood, the Vikrant is powered by four General Electric LM 2500 gas turbines, coupled with two shafts. This propulsion system is complemented by four diesel generators and two gas turbines, providing an electrical power that drives the carrier's operations. The Vikrant's radar and combat management systems are the product of Indian ingenuity. The Bell APSO Airborne Surveillance and Target Acquisition Radar provides a clear picture of the battlefield. While the combat management system developed by Tata Power SED ensures efficient command and control, Unlike some carriers that utilize the cater bar or catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery system, the Vikrant employs the stow bar or short takeoff but arrested recovery system. This choice reflects the types of aircraft the Vikrant is designed to carry and operate. In every aspect, the INS Vikrant is a manifestation of India's naval ambitions. Its sheer size, speed and aircraft capacity combined with its advanced propulsion radar and combat systems make it a formidable force on the high seas. The INS Vikrant is a formidable force with a size and capacity that outmatches many of its competitors. This vessel truly embodies the spirit of its name, Vikrant, which in Sanskrit means courageous or powerful. Indeed, it stands as a symbol of India's growing naval might and a source of pride for the nation. Next, we compare with Italy's Cavour. This Italian powerhouse, although smaller in size than the Vikrant, is not to be underestimated. With a displacement of 27,100 tons at full load, the Cavour packs a punch in its more compact form. The Cavour measures 244 meters in length, a sizable ship by any standard. Its breadth or beam is 39 meters and it drafts to a depth of 8.5 meters. These dimensions give the Cavour a distinct advantage in maneuverability, especially in tight naval situations. But don't let its size fool you. The Cavour matches the Vikrant in speed, reaching up to 28 knots, equivalent to 52 kilometers per hour. It also boasts a range of 7,000 nautical miles or 13,000 kilometers when cruising at a speed of 20 knots or 37 kilometers per hour. The aircraft capacity of the Cavour is smaller, accommodating 12 to 20 aircraft, including the AV-8B Harrier II, F-35B, and a variety of helicopters. The Cavour is powered by four General Electric LM 2500 gas turbines and two shafts, a propulsion system similar to that of the Vikrant, albeit with a slightly lower total power output of 64 megawatts. The ship's electrical power is supplied by four diesel generators and two gas turbines, providing a reliable and efficient power source for all onboard operations. The radar system of the Cavour is the Celex RAN 40 L3D radar, a powerful tool for detecting and tracking airborne threats. Along with its combat management system developed by Celex ES, the Cavour is equipped with state of the art technology to handle any situation that comes its way. One key difference between the Cavour and the Vikrant is in their launch systems. The Cavour uses a catabar or catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery system, a contrast to the Vikrant's Stobar system. This allows the Cavour to operate a different range of aircraft compared to the Vikrant. 
The Cavour, while smaller, is a technologically advanced ship bristling with modern systems. So, how do these two mighty carriers compare? The Vikrant, larger in size, boasts a greater aircraft capacity than the Cavour. While their propulsion systems are similar, the Vikrant's power output is notably higher. The radar and combat systems differ, with Indian and Italian companies crafting those of Vikrant and Cavour, respectively. The Vikrant employs a Stobar system, while the Cavour utilizes a Catabar system, influencing the types of aircraft each can operate. In the end, both INS Vikrant and Cavour are impressive feats of naval engineering, each with their own strengths. The real test, as always, is in their performance in the field.